Hello, hello, Cancer, and welcome to Gemini Soul. The Gemini Soul is a Cancer Cusper, baby. So, know that I got Gemini and Cancer. Those who coming back, thank you for coming back. I love you. Thank you for all your support. I hope everything is going well. Cancer, this is your mid-month April reading. It may not resonate with all of you. It's okay. If it does resonate with you, even if you feel that the energies are touching your heart and your soul, give me a thumbs up. Um, it does help to get the message out to other cancers that may need the message perhaps if this one doesn't resonate with you but supporting your other cu cancers <laughs> i was gonna say cusper because i just did the cusper reading we just gonna get into it and we just gonna pull cards and see what the universe wants to talk to you about cancer what energies are surrounding you at this time so let's just get into it Let's get into it, guys. Know that I love you and I appreciate all your support. And a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Cancer, what the spirit want to talk to you about? A man holding a heart. <laughs> okay. This could be you, Cancer, male or female. It could be you more in your masculine. But I feel you're dealing with a situation with a man holding a heart. This is somebody very much into their emotions when it comes to you. They love, they care for you, they want to make an offer towards you. Whatever situation, whatever you're going through at this time, it's emotionally driven. If this is you, this is you holding your heart. This is uh, you being very <laughs> strategic about how you're going to offer your emotions or how you're going to accept someone else offering you their emotions um i'm also feeling like this may be a waiting time or period it may be a relationship where you may be waiting on a time to actually express yourself someone may be you know it doesn't matter male or female taking the time to decide on how they want to make an offer towards you but I feel that if this is you, this is a heartfelt emotion towards someone that has emotions for you or you have emotions for them. I'm also feeling like this energy here is also like, it's hard to resist. Like perhaps they show up in a certain way and you are emotionally drawn towards them. You may have fears towards accepting this love from this person or even giving love to this person. So right now you're dealing with a man holding a heart. So it's definitely emotional. Victory. Guys, I had to turn my cards around. Spirit sent me in that direction. Victory. If you have not seen, who is it? Gemini Cancer Cuff? Or it is Gemini reading. One of them had victory. I believe it's Cusper. So if you have a lot of Gemini in your uh, chart or cancer, cusper, maybe you're on the borderline, but there's a victory coming. And this is an emotional a victory, an emotion that's tied up to your heart, to your heart chakra. This could be tied up to someone else. Someone could definitely want a victory with you, uh, cancer, and they want to offer you their heart. They want you to accept it. They want to have a, a, a they want to have a victory with you, and and it's emotionally. So, Cancer, you know how you guys is um, when it comes to a holding on to a situation, and I'm not saying good or bad, but you know sometimes cancers will hold on to they can't hold on anymore because once the cancer emotions is in there, the love, respect, and joy that they want and search for to go down in that little uh, shell of theirs is everything to them. They want a victory. This could be you wanting a victory in love, wanting an offer from someone. I'm even hearing want someone to see you as a victory. There may be someone on the outside that you're dealing with and you want to have a victory in this situation or you want to give to this situation, 
but you like, I want to have a victory in this this time. I want my emotions to actually mean something this time. I want to build something this time. I want love. I want happiness, prosperity, and abundance. You truly do not want to settle for less. So if you are kind of holding your heart back and your emotions from this person making an offer to you, it is only because you're trying to protect yourself this time. I feel you may have been through some difficult relationships over time. You could have just gotten out of a relationship. Um, there's a relationship that you may have really truly wanted to work out in your favor. And it's not like being manipulative. It's like, man, I just deserve love. I deserve a relationship that's caring and loving. I just feel you feel that this is your time. You deserve a loving care. Oh, my goodness. Cancer, this is all about love. I'm sorry if y'all are not in love or not waiting on love or whatever. But this is a caring connection. And the way that I see this, I feel like... This is you with these flowers and this person being very close and attached. Somebody is very attached to you, Cancer, emotionally attached to you. And I have to tell you what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, you know, the woman in the front is looking at the flowers. Perhaps this person brings you flower. Perhaps there's something inside of you that really opens up and wants to grow and really connect to this connection. But I'm feeling like you're looking down at like, man, is it is this it this time? Is this one that I can invest in? Is this one that I can truly, <laughs> I'm just saying, Cancer, bring down into my shell and we can actually fix this shell up within it, right? That I don't have to be guarded against the love that's being brought to me. Is it true? Is it honest? Some of you may have found that too. You all have found some uh, relationship with someone that you feel that deep down in your heart, that there's a victory, that there's growth, that, um, that you want to invest in. Some of you even see a relationship that you may be in right now is a relationship you've never had before. This relationship makes you feel like a victory, like you finally overcome the fact of having to fight for love. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you feel you don't have to fight for love anymore. The universe is saying that, Cancer, also. This man holding a heart, you don't have to fight for their love. It shows up. It's natural. It's, it's, it's this person, male or female, wants a victory with you. They want a loving connection with you. This person, I don't know, I'm getting a lot out of these cards. This person feels like they can't have a victory or a loving connection if you're not there. This person, and I'm just feeling this is a love connection. I'm sorry, guys. But someone around you, man, they adore you. I mean, they take your faults, your good, your bad, whatever the situation is, they're willing to fight for it. This man holding a heart is like, at the end of the day, I don't care what it takes. I need cancer in my life. I see a victory with cancer. I love cancer. Your person has taken over this reading, Cancer. This person doesn't want you to have any doubt. I'm also feeling like they just, they may not even know that you may have doubts in this connection. Or if they know that you have doubts in it, they're trying to do everything they can to prove to you that you are what they want. They feel they deserve you. Like they have something to offer you that no other relationship has offered you before. If this is not what you're dealing with right now, there's a, I said man holding a heart, but right? Y'all take it male or female. It doesn't matter. It could be two males, two females. I don't care how you, he, she's, however you want to do it. Someone feels that this is a connection of a lifetime around you or this is you feeling like this is a connection of a lifetime 
Mm -hmm. We have adjacent possibilities. Somebody, a, some, a situation around you. These are all beautiful cards. If you're heartbroken, you've been waiting for love, it's coming in. It's a victory. It's a connection, divinely guided. There's growth in this connection. This person is emotionally attached to you. Um, and they see adjacent possibilities. Like without you, they see nothing. Like they see so many doors and opportunity. Or this is you, Cancer, in a relationship where you just see so many adjacent possibilities for growth, for stability, home, family. Uh, there's a, it's a caring connection. And that is what you have, a caring connection here. That there now I'm also feeling like you want to believe too that this is it, that this is the victory, that this is what you deserve, and that there's so many possibilities for you to have a successful, loving, caring connection with someone. I'm talking about building the you know, I know this is just, you know, the saying, but this is a white picket fence. This is the cars, the home, the love, the respect. Now, no relationship is 100, but this here connection could never compare to any connections that you've had in the past. Though you may have a few trust issues and opening up to this connection because I feel like you are still soul searching to what really you want to invest in and how you may want to show up in this connection. But whether you're doing this or someone around you, somebody has chosen you. Or deep down in your heart, you have a connection that you truly want to put the growth in. And you may be a little... I'm not, if you showing up standoff, you only doing that because you see adjacent possibilities in it and you afraid, but someone loves you unconditionally. Someone feels that you are their victory, that you are the prize, that you are the gift, that you what they've been waiting on, or this is you cancer feeling like the prize has finally happened. Like, you finally found true love. No, it doesn't go without struggles and disappointments. And, but it's. I'm hearing like if there's disagreements or disappointment in, a relation, in this relationship or connection, it's because there's so much possibility. And people could be on the outside looking in. It could be a mindset you have going on. This person could have been scared. And I'm not saying it, it, it. Somebody here is clear. Somebody in this connection is clear. And all I see is like someone that dreams about you. Wants to be in your energy. Wants to be around you. Wants like... They feel life can change if you can bring this connection together as they I just feel like somebody dreams about you. If you're not together with this person, this is the universe preparing you for a relationship, a connection that's about to come in, that's about to change your life. Or you're in a connection that's about to change your life when it comes to love and commitment. Let's get some more cards out here. Let's clarify. Let's get some clarification here, some more insight. Can we get some more insight for cancer with this man holding a heart? Why is he here? Or why is she here? Or why is the energy here? Someone holding a heart. They're holding space. I'm here and holding space for you. There's no other space. There's only you. Now, that's you, cancer. Or this is the person you're dealing with. Or soon will be. Why is a man holding a heart here? It says, think it through. 
New Moon in Gemini. Cancer, you might want to watch Gemini's reading and Gemini Cancer Cuss, but it says, think it through. This person that's holding a heart, the reason it's here is because this person, when I see think it, think it through, this person is either is thinking it through to come towards you and make this offer, or they've been thinking for quite some time, or they've already thought it through. This may even be you, the universe telling you to think it through because this man holding a heart to this passion at once in a lifetime. Why is victory here? It's his first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Victory. The universe is telling you to honor your feelings towards this situation. Honor what you feel. Honor what you honor what you see. Honor what your dreams and your goal has been to have a victory in a relationship. Emotionally. But not only that, this one of the other signs had it also. This is like a pinnacle, but it's huge. It's white. It's clear. It's, maybe you spend some time alone. Maybe you've been meditating, asking for answers, needing clarity, and it's coming in. Honor your feelings. The universe is saying, don't turn your back on how you feel because you, you it's a victory. It's a victory. It's emotionally set. If this is you, this is definitely you holding your heart strong, knowing what it is that you deserve and not accepting anything less, and you only will accept the victory. And it's saying, honor your feelings. The universe is telling you. Now, I don't see this, but I have to bring it out because this is what I'm feeling. If you're in a situation and you're not feeling that it is a victory in it or that you are emotionally connected to having a victory, in this situation and foggy eye, f feeling like foggy mind about a situation, the universe is saying all you need to do is honor your feelings. Honor how you feel about it. How is you working through it? What is it that you feel? Do you truly want a caring connection? Do you want a victory in this? Or, I'm sorry, is this victory in love and commitment, do you see the adjacent possibilities and things that can happen in this relationship? Follow your heart. And Cancer, you guys don't have a problem with that. Why is this caring connection here? Cool your emotions. Full moon in Aries. You're in Aries now. We're in Aries season. Cool your emotions. When I feel cool, your emotions, I feel like it's so fiery. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But in this card, it brings out the earth, right? The mammal is just like <clears throat> something is so fiery that you may have to cool down for this month, right? To really get balanced and cool your emotions. There's something very fiery and passionate. Or maybe this is a relationship that has a lot of passion and fire in it. Or this person has a lot of fire and passion for you. And it's this cool your emotions. You may even feel that this relationship, this connection, caring connection is all about passion. Maybe you think it's a sexually driven a relationship. But I'm feeling like it's so much more. And if you cool down your emotions, your passion for it, that this relationship still is a caring connection. You may feel like it's lusty or somebody just lusts after you. But it's actually, they may lust after you, you know, you are cancer, right? But at the same token, their emotions are attached to you their ideas and goals of a relationship of male or female is like you are their idol woman or male. However, it resonates with you. Jason possibilities sit, step into your power. 
adjacent possibilities, step into your power. This is basically the universe telling you, like, you have what it takes. Adjacent possibilities in this connection, seeing the truth in it, knowing what it is you want, manifesting, holding on, building, being successful in it. And the universe wants you to see that there are a lot of opportunities that can come forth with this caring connection. That's what I'm hearing. We're going to get more out here. What do we have under the bottom? Attend to the details. So there's some details in this relationship, cancer, that needs to be addressed. Maybe it's a goal or dream or how you're going to move forward or how you're going to be or how you're going to be successful. Jason Possibilities. I feel like this is where it tend, attend to the details with this adjacent possibility. Yeah, we're very passionate. We're very loving. You're offering a commitment that we could have a victory, but there are some things that needs to be worked out in this uh, relationship, in this caring connection. Maybe it's financially. Maybe it's family. It's friends, uh, naysayers. But there are some things that need to be talked about so that this relationship does not go to the wayside. Like there's a victory in it. There's uh, um, a commitment. There's respect. There's honor here. And there's a lot of opportunities to, to be successful. I don't know. That's that's what I'm hearing, guys. That's just you know what? Let's do some tea cards before I go any deeper. I'm gonna get one tea card. You know, the tea usually give us the tea. We got a man holding a heart here, and we got think it through. What is that about? What is this man holding a heart and think it through? Wishbone. A wish is granted, man. <laughs> Look, cancer, a wish is granted. This is something you manifest. This is something you wish for. You pray for. You you know, it's been coming in. This is which, like, listen, I don't know. You've been eating chicken and you broke that wishbone. And this wish is true. This is a man holding a heart emotionally attached or female emotionally attached. This is about emotions. This is about a wish coming true to finally have that true love that you can... Again, I hate to tell people like, oh, it's going to be all roses and unicorns. Well, it's not. But the problems or situations or things that you may have to deal with in this relationship, it's regular 3D. Anybody could have to deal with it. But how it's dealt with and how it's respected in a relationship shows up totally different than any relationship you could have dealt with. Just for instance, say you was in a relationship before and you really cared about someone and they cared about you. When you had differences, somebody shut down or one going a different way or maybe there was toxicity or somebody turned their back on each other or stopped putting in. This is not that. This is we had a situation. We need to work through it for the best of all involved, mainly you in that connection. Why is victory here and honor your feelings, spirit? Why is victory here and honor your spirit and honor your feelings? Flag. It says, do not be tempered. Do not be tempered to lower your standards. Do not flag. Do not be tempered to lower. So I feel that. Cancer, you may be afraid of losing yourself in this connection. I think you've lost yourself in so many connections that the universe is like, you like looking for flags, looking for reasons to disconnect. Things are perhaps a reason of why it may not work, why you may not have a victory in this. But the universe is like, um, honor your feelings you can honor your feelings you can be in love and a caring connection and not lose yourself like you've done before that just means with this flag you need to have boundaries like your time me time their time along with 
being in a connection or loving connection means that you still have that time to yourself, right? Um, cancer, you sometimes want your space. You want your time. You want to enjoy uh, certain energies. And I'm sorry, with cancer, most of the time it's their very own energy. They're pretty happy with when they're emotionally happy. The situations around them, they still may need time, but it's to... I'm hearing to balance their self to to balance yourself out, to balance a situation out, to be able to work through things that may have you concerned, and not losing yourself and having boundaries means that you speak up for yourself what feels good and feels right to you, but it also you have a voice to speak up when you feel someone is crossing those boundaries. And I feel that this caring connection, if you just speak up, Cancer, that someone's crossing your boundaries, that you need that small space and time, this connection, this victory goes forth because this person respects you for your time that you need and they give it to you. I'm also hearing like, don't get in your head where you pull away and study expressing your concerns in this relationship or them with you. Someone could be afraid that they may lose they self or they've done so much healing and they don't want it to all go in vain after overcoming so much. This is what I'm hearing. Butterfly. Yeah. This is like the caterpillar. This is like, this is your time for your wings to fly. It's colorful. It's loving, right? I just said unicorns and all these different rainbow colors, but that's what I see when I see a butterfly. A caterpillar was being closed off in a cocoon, and that could be cancer, right? Sometimes you want to be closed off, but I feel that this relationship with this person, if you speak up, they give you that time, and when you come out, you feel even better. You're ready to fly. You're ready to bring your your understanding or clarity or maybe even put your guards down a bit and express yourself and talk to this person and they'll understand and speak and talk with you at the same time. This is a long 27 minutes already, Cancer, Jesus Christ, y'all reading over. <laughs> but butterfly is something beautiful blooming because it, it comes under caring connection and cool your emotions. So I feel like you're very deeply connected to this situation or someone's connected to you, but you still need your time. You still need your peace, your space. I mean, and somebody's willing to accept that, but I, I think you have to just have stronger boundaries or able to speak up in the situation. Don't be afraid of hurting someone's feelings because this person gets you. That's what I heard. Um, we got claw here. <laughs> this person could be pretty clingy, right? So I just told you the space and time, that's where boundaries come up because there's a lot of possibilities in this relationship and step into it, <laughs> step into your power. So your power is like, if they become like, I don't know, I feel this person holding a heart and them seeing you as a victory, it's like they may feel territorial. They may feel like, Everything you smell, you hear or see has to do with them because they want to be there in your energy and around you. Uh, this person may even feel like you got your claws in them, right? Cancer, right? Y'all ain't got them little claws. Look, this person feel like you have your claws in them so deep, but it feels good to them. And I believe that you're showing up in a way to love and, and the caring and the emotions that you're showing this person, maybe they've never felt it before. They've never been in a relationship like this before where somebody was very that much attentive that they respect and love and trust. Um, it also says, yeah, I don't have my glasses on, but here we go. Be careful. Do not take, do not take risks. With this claw and be careful, do not take risks. Don't take the risk of not opening up emotionally, having that conversation about needing that space, having that time. Um, anything that you feel like it is an opportunity, I might even feel that 
and not might. Why did I say might? Uh, this person may even feel that they have to hold on to you so tight because you have other poss uh, other Jason possibilities. Other people may be looking at you. You may be dressing different, looking different. You may be, you know, doing some things that maybe you wasn't doing at first, but they don't understand that you're doing it because you have so much love in you and you really, really are loving the connection. But at the same time, you still trying not to lose you as you've lost yourself in past relationships. But I feel this person gets it. And it says, step into your power. Don't forget the lessons you've learned, Cancer. This is what I'm hearing. Don't forget the success and how patient you've been to overcome certain situations in your past that led you up to having a victory in a connection or a victory in loving and caring for yourself. Uh, maybe you've had strong boundaries up now, and it's not that you want to put your boundaries down, but if someone is very clingy, like, you know, I don't know, I'm just hearing, like, somebody, like, <laughs> I I'm just hearing, too, they could be a little draining, right? They could be draining you a, a, a bit, you know? Uh, but it's just an opportunity and a time for you to speak up. If that is the case, um, I got to say what I'm hearing, Cancer. You could be clingy. You could be holding on to this connection for dear life. Though you've learned lessons in the past, the universe is telling you, there's just some possibilities with this. Step into your power. Know who you are. Know you deserve this. And that you don't have to be clingy. That you can actually give space and time to others or hold space for this person. That's just what I'm hearing. Crown is under the bottom. And it says, um, honor and respect will come to you. If you do this, they honor and respect you for it. You may, like, if I tell them this, they gonna, maybe you think they're going to run off when you decide you want some space and time. I feel this is a connection that if you, maybe they work different shifts or maybe they travel or something of that, of that sort. And someone feels that they have to hold on because that space and time in there may uh, lead for someone to adventure out. I don't see that because this connection is definitely emotionally driven. And this person really wants to hold on to you or you truly want to hold on. So I guess what I'm saying is trust. Trust in the relationship. Trust in where you're guided, trust in your instincts, trust in the lessons you've learned, trust in believing you deserve it, trust in this person is true, this person does love you, you can respect them, you can work through your differences, that's what I'm hearing, and wear the crown, wear the crown that you deserve, cancer, this is what this is telling me, you got crown and then chair filled. Man, like your chair is filled with love. You got ring. You definitely could be married. Somebody want to get married. They could have brought a ring forward. You got egg here. This is egg definitely represents hatching something new, something beautiful, growing something. So not only are you able to invest in this situation, uh, your heart's desires are filled. It's like a genie cup to me in the front of this person sitting in the chair where it's been empty. It's no longer empty. That is that part of your heart and soul is being filled with this situation or you are doing that for someone where they're about to propose to you. Maybe they've proposed to you. Maybe you engage or maybe you're married and uh, whatever the situation may be, but wear the crown. The crown that you hold is loving, it's caring, it's respectful, it's growth. That's what I'm hearing. Let's get some tarot out here. See what the spirit want to say when it comes to that. You know, tarot can clear it all up. This man holding a heart over here, spirit. What is this all about? Y'all, this reading is going to be a little long. I'm sorry, Cancer. But it is. But let's get man holding a heart, spirit. Let's just get one card for each one of these. 
Man holding a heart, six of pentacles. This man wants the equal give and take in his relationship. Male, female, it doesn't matter. Take it how it resonates. Somebody is holding a heart, whether it's you or that person or both, is holding space for each other and willing to give an equal give and take. What is this victory card about, spirit for cancer? What is the victory? Fresh new beginning, whether this is, you know, it could be very passionate, but it's childlike energy. There's a victory. They're starting something new. This person feels a lot of passion for you. You feel a lot of passion for them. I'm feeling like make you feel like a child again, like a relationship you never thought you could be very passionate about again is there. Um, with this caring connection of three of cups, happy is I don't know what. You, your spirit guides, your ancestors, everybody is happy you finally found this connection. I can't help but feel a connection that was being guided to you. And with the uh, coming under this butterfly, you was in the caterpillar mode, didn't think that you would ever bloom and fly again and feel this joy and emotions again. And with the three of cups, the universe wants you to be happy, wants you to celebrate this connection and wants you to be happy in it. What is Jason a possibility, Spirit? Eight of Cups. Is Jason a possibility? He is you realizing you walked away from something in order to have this. And they want you to understand that there's Jason possibilities. When you walked away from cups and an emotion and situations that no longer serve you, ask for that nine of cups or wish fulfillment into the ten of cups. And that is what you are walking, you walked away from and you are walking towards. Okay. So no more discontent in your emotions, unsure, not being cl clear of what it is someone was bringing to the table, if they truly love you, if they were going to put in a vest, if you could grow, you have walked away from situation that did not serve you to walk towards your nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment. And you are emotionally available for that. And there's Jason possibilities. Yeah. Maybe in a little clingy, maybe you can't keep your hands off each other. That's what I'm hearing. Or this person can't keep their hands off of you. I feel this person did have a loss in the past. You had a loss in the past, but somebody turned around and picked up those two cups, right? Because you got the eight and these two cups that you turn around at the emotional losses too, which leads to the 10 of cups, man, you in a complete happiness family, bringing family together, friends, commitment, joy, happiness, but I can't help but feel they had to leave something behind. Perhaps you had to leave something behind emotionally uh this was a decision both of you may have been in relationships that just was maybe toxic maybe uh did not see uh a way out but the universe has shown you a way out and you're moving forward in this relationship together um i just feel a caring connection have trust that there's a lot of possibilities here. You're walking right into your Ten of Cups, but you got to believe. You got to know that uh, you are now being a butterfly. You're growing. The universe is saying still keep your boundaries, keep your peace and your time. However you got here for healing, how you worked on yourself, how you, you, you went within looking for uh, that clarity of what it is you truly wanted. Once you stood up and realized what you wasn't going to accept anymore, you started to wear the crown. And now, Cancer, you wear the crown of love and commitment and joy and respect and what it is you truly want. And the universe is saying it's here. Your happiness is here. You emotionally detached from things that didn't work for you. And you are now standing in your power, wearing your crown, and your energy is attracting. Either this person is coming, you've left the relationship in the past that you've overcome, or you're in a relationship now that you wear the crown. You wear the crown in this relationship, meaning this person sees you, wants to work with you, has a loving connection, has you emotionally in their heart, and they see growth. Yeah, they probably a little clingy, but you have to have boundaries <laughs> uh, in this situation or cancer. Get, get a grip and don't lose yourself and so that you don't feel like you're being drained. So make sure to connect with that higher you, okay? 
continue to stay connected, but you wear the crown and it's loving connection. That's what I'm seeing. This is an equal give and take. This is an opportunity for a fresh new start. Uh, even if you're in a relationship and things had to be reworked, I feel like it's being reworked for your happiness because maybe there was some healing had to happen for you or this person and someone's walked away from things that no longer serve them. They definitely could have been walking away from a third party or they've left a third party to come towards you and to prove to you cancer uh, uh, that, you know, they want this victory with you and they see so many uh, possibilities and also with the claw that's like walking away from any type of energies whether it's relationships family friends disagreements naysayers all they want is an equal give and take and the opportunity to have this fresh new loving relationship with you or the refreshing now i'm also hearing cancer you may be in a relationship that's being renewed refreshed if you're married it's going to be refreshed right because this is truly a wish for you and this relation or in this person in this relationship. So that's what I got for you guys. Let's get a closing message of guidance for you. It may not resonate with all of you guys, but if not, and you want to claim it, has anything in there for you, definitely do that. Give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it very much. I love you. And I do wish you all the love and happiness that your heart can hold. And let's get a closing message from your spirit, guys. And that was quick, Cancer. Cancer, the spirit says, regain your your force. Your, oh, regain your focus. Guys, I'm glad I need some glasses on. <laughs> this is simple. It's simple. Okay. Regain your for, your focus. Still saying the same thing, force. Maybe there's a force, but just regain it with the with the. Uh, this reminds me of the Ace of Swords. This is like truth and clarity, and it says trouble. Life matters. Um, travel. Life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. Okay, so I feel that maybe something in this relationship, again, maybe somebody feels somebody's too clingy. You know, maybe you're wearing the crown in it and you're wearing it like, like you need to heavily. And you uh, just like, you know what you want, right? You want a caring connection and you want to move into your ten of cups you want to equal give and take i just feel like regain your focus is to have those guards right that's that flag having the guards up there's an opportunity to build and have something here whether this is a marriage being renewed uh engagement happening or a relationship coming together or someone coming towards you but this is a wish fulfillment that you're absolutely having because you started off with the wish uh wishbone right so I'm going to read this again. Trouble life. Tr uh. Travel life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. Trivial. I don't know why I kept saying. Uh, yeah, anyway, trivial. Life matters and distract and are distracting you and from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. I feel like this is like, and they're here to help you stay grounded. The truth is here, plain and simple. I don't know, and it could be you know, other energies kind of come in, you know, also with this third party. It may have been a third party energy, anything could be coming in trying to not get this message out. But the point is, what you need to know is that this is it, Cancer. You just need time and patience. There is a caring, caring connection here, and whatever life throws at you at this time you know, uh, that's trying to distract you from your goal. Uh, the angels are here to say, look, we put this here for you and so above, so below and can't nothing come in. So if you may be going through or dealing with some difficult times or mindset or whatever it is at this time, trying to have a victory or connect or accept who you are, the universe is saying, just wear your crown. 
just wear your crown, know who you are, have strong boundaries, don't lose yourself, don't expect someone to lose they self, right? Whatever started this, whatever truth you've seen in this caring connection, know that those possibilities are still there. Some of this is a rebirth in a relationship, a redo or a rebalancing of a relationship because someone may have got to be a little bit uh, a clingy and afraid of losing something that they love and care for so much or that even perhaps someone may be coming in to pull them apart or uh, and, and, and intervene, but the universe is telling you, no, regain your focus. You know what you want, you know who you are, and you just don't lose you. Don't lose you this time. Remember the lessons that you've learned and work on this connection. This may not be for all of you. This may be a connection coming in for you. Love and light cancer. I will see you on your next reading. Bye.